Right, how much warm-up do you actually need for a hill climb? Uh, and that is the question people ask me. People see I do ridiculous warm-ups. So anyway, we'll just go through basically most of my hill climbs. I'm not going to do the first couple because I didn't really do very well slash couldn't be bothered. Um, but anyway, so this is uh, the VC Walcott um, hill climb. This is just before it. Um, you can see I had a warm-up of only 41 minutes, 188 weight weighted average power. This would rank on a disastrous warm-up. I couldn't find anywhere. You can see I'm doing laps of a car park. Couldn't find anywhere properly to warm up. You can see I'm trying to do some intervals here, like 40 seconds at 3.30. You can see I only do 250 because I'm in a circle. I can't really do anything. So anyway, this, I'd say, is a very poor warm-up. My performance was not great. I would attribute a lot of that to the warm-up. I never really got motivated, never really got warmed up, and didn't really get in the mindset. So anyway, we're now going to ignore that warm-up. That was dreadful. Right, the next warm-up we have, which was on the 6th of October, which I believe would be before the 7 Road Club hill climb. So you can see I rode out to the climb, 203 weighted average power for an hour and 11. This is more like it. This is what we like to see, a big, big, big warm-up. You can see we've got, we've got some 27 seconds. Um, basically, it's like 40 seconds on, more or less, 40 seconds off. Didn't do it always exactly, but just because sometimes the road doesn't allow it. But anyway, around 400 watts or so, a little higher than what I... Um, prefer to do but I sort of was very cold it was quite a cold day I really wanted to warm up you can see this last 20 seconds at 500 watts really trying to warm it up then we do an hour and a uh, minute an hour I wish I could do an hour and 20 at uh, 344 watts alas a minute and 20 at 344 watts and you'll say this is basically what I like to do I do like do 30 40 seconds on 20 seconds off and then these a minute and 15 intervals more or less um, this is like a nice tempo thing up the climb 270 watts up the climb just to see it and then you can see I did some a couple more um, little sprint things just to get used to it um, anyway, so that was, I'd say, a good warm-up. Result was all right on the day, was quite cold, but this is what we're talking about, more an hour and 11. Okay, next one, this is going to get pretty boring. This is only 25 minutes long, but I did it. You can see here, I'm very structured. I was on the turbo trainer. I was just slowly ramping up, did my 40-second intervals, did my 1-minute 15 intervals, um, and I was, yeah, it was actually a pretty good race, to be fair. Um, but again, you can see the weight average power is definitely up there a lot. Um, and I'd say that's the main thing for my warm-up, is that I really, on these shorter ones, you really have to be like, sort of on it already, you can't, there's no time to warm up. In 20 minute effort, the first five is like quite a gentle warm up. Like, okay, it hurts, but it's not that bad. Like you slowly get into your work. But on these two minute efforts, it's absolute full gas from the gun. And you, for me, I really have to be quite like, not tired, but my body's just already working a lot. So it can really chuck everything out. Um, again, this is this is probably one of the best, an hour and 17 minutes, 187 weight to average power. This was before, um, the Belmont um, University of Bristol's cycling club. And you can see here, I actually, I know the roads well here, so I know exactly where I can go. Um, first 40 second interval was a bit useless because I stopped pedaling halfway through. Um, but the rest of these will all go through at 377, 360. And these sort of like aren't race pace necessarily. I know some people do really high race pace stuff. I sometimes do that, but I think for me, it's more the accumulation of time very around threshold, maybe a little over threshold, as you can see on these 370 watts, watts ones. And that generally sorts me out quite well. Um, so I did pretty well on that hill climb, I did enjoy. Um, and then this again is before um, the Bucks hill climb. Again, I did well, I just rode the climb twice, very easy tempo. Some people I were riding it really hard, but I didn't want to warm up that early. Um, so just 211 watts, so very, very chill. Um, and the second one even easier. And that was um, good, and I just got on the turbo. I didn't have a long enough warm up. Uh, it was only 22 minutes, and I should have done like, probably, I wanted to be on the turbo 45 minutes to an hour before I started so I could really just do it but anyway you can see these classic intervals um on this one it was a longer one so I wasn't as stressed out um but the shorter it is the longer the warm up is um and then we're going to go to this one here which is before the Burrington Coup this is my probably my best race of the year to be honest I got ninth out of a really stacked field to be honest again 191 weighted average power um for an hour and 23 so basically it's just like ride there for 176 so very easy um, just low zone two, um, high zone one, really. Um, and then you can just see it start to ramp it up. Five minutes, 2.15, and then 40 seconds, 3.70, 40 seconds, 3.50, etc. You can see the thing. And then 20 seconds there. And then I had uh, about a minute at 330 watts. So again, not ideal, but still pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, that, that did me well. And then my last warm-up of the year for Nationals, um, it was very similar, an hour and a half. Um, not exactly what I wanted to do, but at the same time, that is what I needed. So for me, I feel like having a really big warm up is mega important for these hill climbs. You've really, really got to like, just make sure you're on it from the minute one. And I feel like the only way you can do that is if you have a really long warm up. So there's my thoughts on my warm up. Definitely have a long one. If you can start doing hill climbs, you have to just start warming up properly. If you turn up and do like 10 minutes, little spinning, little like efforts here or there, 
you're not going to do well. You really have to do some like very like the warm up is often actually quite hard because your body's not used to it and you're really drilling it. I did a similar video to this where I said sometimes like the tempo feels harder than a threshold effort just because if you're warmed up for the threshold effort, it actually feels easier than like just starting out at tempo and just riding. So these ones, when you're doing like a minute and 15 at threshold, they can actually hurt a decent amount because you're just not warmed up. But then suddenly like your just legs suddenly just sort of start to fire a bit more and then you feel really strong. And on the short ones, you just have to be on it from minute one. So anyway, I hope this helps you a lot. Um, if you are like getting used to hill climbs or just anything, I guess cycle cross races, crit races, um, it depends. If you're really competitive, then obviously warm up before. Often my crit races, I just ride there. I'll warm up a little bit because my crit races generally aren't that hard from the gun. But if cyclocross races, definitely warm up. And if it's a crit race, you think it's going to be hard from the gun, warm up. Um, road races, maybe not just because they're a bit longer. But, you know, it, it's up to you. It depends what. If it's a massive climb straight at the gun, then, yeah, definitely warm up. So, yeah, my thoughts are longer warm up, always better. Um, like today I've got track and I'll probably warm up before I even get there. So I'll do like an hour ride before in the morning just to really try and warm my legs up so that when I get to the track, I can do some really good efforts. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy and see you in the next video.